In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the event delivery network, which is part of our SOA suite infrastructure, with the Oracle Stream Explorer in a fraud detection scenario. So let's log in to our Stream Explorer. Here we see our landing page and for this tutorial we're going to use the risk and fraud management section of the catalog. First of all we're going to create a stream to use with the event delivery network. We give the source name and a meaningful description. We will define a tag risk to associate this source with uh, this section of our catalog and other meaningful tags relating to this source artifact. We will select our source type which in this case is the EDN. Next we will specify the URL to connect to our WebLogic server on port 7101 and the associated WebLogic server user ID and password. Now we need to choose a shape. The wizard here provides you with the available events from the event delivery network. In this case, we've selected the fraud check request. And now we flow directly in to the expiration. Again, we give a meaningful name to this expiration. We will specify our tags in this case risk to associate it with our section of the catalog and other useful tags for this expiration and now we will select the EDN event stream which we defined earlier and create. Now we can see our expiration user interface canvas with the relevant fields from the event from the EDN. Now for testing uh, we will firstly use the composite that we provided uh, as part of our media package and we use the test function to allow us to send the data uh, via a web service to our composite which will in turn send that event to the Stream Explorer. As we can see, uh, the parameter required to test was our email address and now we can see that event being passed to the Stream Explorer and we can send subsequent events to test. We also have a EDN event simulator to automatically generate events for us. Here we can see the events flowing from the event delivery network and some graphical information and now we're going to apply some more sophisticated fraud analysis capabilities on this event stream. First we'll add a summary. We want to take a sum of the total amount. We'll add a group by of the email address. So we now see both the email address and the sum of total amount. We use the properties capabilities to change the shape of the event output stream by placing the email first followed by the total amount value. Now we use our time window because we're looking for events from now in an incremented time window of 30 seconds sliding every five seconds of output and finally we're going to add a filter that for in that window we want to look at the total sum of the amount if it's greater than one thousand dollars so we're looking for any user any customer that is purchasing more than a thousand dollars within that 30 second time window if this is the case, it is an indication that that customer or user 
is potentially initiating a fraudulent activity. Here we can see now the total amounts that are exceeding $1,000. And again, how we graphically indicate this from the tabular data that you see here on the Stream Explorer UI. Finally, now we have identified this fraudulent activity, we want to send downstream these events for further action on a target. In this case, we're going to send the events back to the event delivery network, providing the URL and user ID and password. We will get the definitions, in this case from the EDN, which is our fraud check response. We will leave the default mapping capability to map the output stream to the EDN receiving event type, and we will stream. Finally, we will publish this application for further usage by other applications.